there, I'm the Zertastic and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving in on the season winter and I am so excited about it. I really love winter and right now it is winter where I am. Do you know any animals that come to mind when you think of winter? Hmm, that's kind of a tricky one. Well, for me, when I think of winter, I think of animals that live up in the Arctic tundra, uh, such as the polar bear, the snowy owl, I think of walruses, I think of muskox, Arctic fox, and snowy owls. They are so, so cute. So you know what? We should take a look at some images of those animals. All right, so this is a map of the Arctic. So it kind of gives you an idea of where in the world it is and where these animals might be living in a much more snowy environment uh, compared to some other places, uh, such as a desert, obviously, or even the prairies. So this is the Arctic tundra, and again, we might find uh, um, a polar bear in the Arctic. We might find our snowy owl friends, a musk ox, which is named because apparently they have a musky smell to them. But they're so cute. I just love their little faces and their little horns. They're so cute. Um, and also the Arctic fox. So why don't we head on over and do some drawing and art in this episode. First, we're going to draw a sleepy snowy owl and then we're going to make an artwork of a polar bear using some temper paint. So let's head on over to the art studio and make some art. membership that you can stream on any device, anywhere, anytime, hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home. Perfect for families and classrooms. All right, we're going to be drawing a sleepy snowy owl. So we're going to be doing a sleepy snowy owl. So we're playing with adjectives and our, which is sleepy, our noun is owl. So here we go, sleepy snowy owl. We're gonna grab something to draw with and something to color with. And we're gonna do, draw a curved line for the top of the head. And then we're gonna add some curving lines around the bottom. And then we're gonna add some zigzag lines down each side at the bottom. We're gonna draw an oval on each side and then another to make little toes. And then we just gotta connect underneath. Let's add some wings. We're going to curve up Let's add some little oval dots here and there Next, we're gonna add the beak. So we're gonna add some fuzzy little zigzag lines at the top. Then we're gonna add a curving line. And we're gonna have a little V below. And then you can add your little nostrils. And then we're gonna add eyes. So we're gonna start off with 
because it's sleepy, we're gonna add two letter U's on either side of the eyes. And then we're gonna thicken it up and make it like a bubble letter. And then you can color it in so it looks like it's sleepy. So cute. Add little feather details on the face. And on the bottom of the body. Now we can go ahead and color it in with our choice colors. Now there's not too much to add because it is a snowy owl. Well, you can color in the beak, the feet. And then I like to just take a gray and just use that to shade. To shade. So just going under the eyes. Snowy Owl is done. All right, we're gonna make our polar bear. Here we go. Zigzag lines with our choice medium. Ear on each side. Zigzags down to the bottom. In your ear. We'll add a big oval for the snout. We'll add an oval at the top for the nose and a line down. And we'll color in the nosing a little bit of white at the top. Add a mouth. We'll add the eyes with two curving upside down. Use and we'll thicken them up. And then we're going to divide our background up into stripes. And then we're going to get ready to paint. So we're going to get out some tempera paint or a choice color paint. Our first color, we're gonna dip our brush in water and paint 
this side and I just use water to make the paint move easily. It will thin it, but it also just helps it move on the paper. color between or you don't have to it's up to you okay I'm gonna try not I'm on a not rinse and you can see it still looks really nice. You get some really beautiful blending colors. your appreciation and subscribe to this channel if you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone whatever device make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works as well if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom grab my free guide up here it's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home anywhere anytime and if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the artastic kids online membership so you can make art anywhere anytime on any device using some really fun art mediums See you in the next episode.